Welcome back, my horde. I'm actually not quite sure where the recording is on this, if it's on the bottom or the top, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, this is after Christmas now. Huzzah, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this Christmas at the very least, Tammy got something pretty cool. I his. acquired funding to get the cool thing. <laughs> yes, but you still got the cool thing. Yes. It's a, uh... Well, you tell them. A Samsung Galaxy uh, Tab S6 Lite. Because, you know, it needed to be that long of a title. It's a really wicked tablet, though. Um, it ha comes with a stylus. That is actually meant for that tablet. And where the place that I got it from, I don't know if it's supposed to come with it. In every single place you buy it. But it came with a very fancy little kind of book flap cover. Which is really weird because it's very magnetic feeling. It sticks to the... There's no like insert or like little things to hold it on. It's literally just being held on by the... Um, whatever the magnet type they're using. Same with the stylus pen. It's in the um, crook of the binding, I guess you could say. Yeah. And yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to draw properly on it. So, because I had the same art program on my phone, so I installed it onto the tablet, so I kind of had a chance to muck about with it. I plan on hopefully working on some art pieces while I'm at work and watching YouTube. Yeah, that's one of the reasons we wanted to get it, was so she can draw and watch YouTube at the exact same time at work. Uh, she has uploaded a video on her channel of her drawing. Yes. So that's going to be pretty cool. Because the art program I use records what you draw, and then it compiles it into a fast play version. It's literally what we've been wanting for freaking ever done on her phone. Like, we've been trying to find a program on her computer to do this for freaking forever. Like, yeah. what's well, been like two years? Something like that. Maybe three? Mm -hmm. I might be able to find it on the computer as an app, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But if you can find it, that'd be great. Because then we can actually use all the three objects you have... To record videos at any freaking given time. Yeah. And yeah, like she said, it even speeds it up. So right now she's just posting minute long ones on her channel. And yeah. That are silent. Yeah, they're going to be silent for now. Yeah. But if she wants to, she can always choose and go up to five minutes or go even shorter. And she can also um, do... Uh, uh, like put them onto my computer and I can we can put audio on. Um, odd question though, because uh, I didn't actually think about asking it before this. Um, how big you know, of a canvas can you have on that? You're gonna check. Yeah. Oh, you have a password. It told me I had to have one made. So my gallery. Is that my gallery? New. It says. Uh, I can do the presets. The biggest preset is 1500 by 1500. Okay, so it's not that big. What does it say? So 4096 by 4096. Okay, so that's fairly large. Yep. Okay, so if you did 4096 by 4096, right? Uh -huh. That's big. You could start doing the uh, thing we talked about where you actually have... A bunch of your characters next to each other. And you can zoom in and they can just see a big picture of all these characters just start popping up and all this stuff start popping up. Oh, you have to do a video of that now. Um, I like the presets because it has SD size, HD size, um, which are like for your, uh, kind of like your phone screens. Because it's like 600 by 918 and then 1200 by 1893 or 1838, which is double the size. But then you have like one to one ratio, 
three to uh, three by four ratio, nine by sixteen Twitter header. Oh, interesting. Uh, chat stamp, vertical, which is just like this really thin, really tall, lengthy thing. Uh, postcard. And then it has A4 150 DPI and B5 150 DPI, which are just wonky sizes. Yep. But, yeah. And I can also work from an imported picture, too. So if I started something somewhere else, I can try and import and draw on it. Which yeah. makes sense. But, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, right now I'm also just off to the side. I'm using my computer to talk to our one friend. Um, he's trying to do uh, D&D with us. So him and his wife are making D&D characters. And he hasn't played in quite some time. And he hasn't played a lot. So due to that, he's like forgetting certain things. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, like, you haven't done this. Because he should have sent me his character. He's like, yeah, here you go. I'm like, you haven't done this. He's like, oh, right. Forgot totally about that. I'm like, and you did this wrong. He's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Oopsies. Like, um, at the end of each character, it has like a example template kind of idea. A starting template thing it's basically so like if you don't know what you're doing you could just grab all that or if a gm is quickly trying to make a character he can just grab all that and he grabbed all that thing uh thinking it was just freebie stuff so oh, yes, it was not yeah oh yeah my turtle's on the floor turtle's on the floor it was one of the uh treats we got for Christmas, uh, we got some turtles. If you don't know what turtles are, uh, I feel sorry for you. Because they're delicious. But basically, they're... I'm reading the exact definition of them. Oh, limited edition. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oops. They're... Chocolate and pecans. With caramel. Yep, that's exactly what they are. Yeah, you with might have smooth seen, caramel. You might have seen like no name brands like Slow Pokes or yeah. something else. But yeah, they're tasty. But the box that we got it comes with a dark chocolate, the salted caramel, and regular. Yeah. And they are delicious. So and there's that. Plus, we also got. Two or three other boxes of chocolate. Yeah. Varying types. Tammy's are very much into chocolate, so us getting chocolate is not a surprise. Yeah. Tammy also got a lot of panda stuff which for her birthday, which is coming up in a week or two. The, not this podcast, but the next podcast. It's a two. Dun, dun, dun. I wasn't sure. I thought it was a week and a half, but no, it's definitely two. Yeah, no, it's a week. As of when this podcast is released. Oh, okay. <laughs> So then I am thinking about a week and a half, okay? Oh, yes. I got Purdy's Caramel with Pink Himalayan, uh, Himalayan Salt. My favorite. Delicious. Yeah. So uh, that's something that Tammy got. So I didn't get a lot, um, which I normally don't. No, you. I got a lot of money, though. We get joint stuff. Yeah, which is perfectly fine. Like, Tammy getting the tablet, it was expensive. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that was, like, our money. Yeah. Not just hers. Because I think we together got... Um, trying to think. Uh, I think we got... 50? 50, 50. We got 400? No, we didn't get 400 each. Excluding my... No, I'm talking about all together from Christmas. Oh, 400 we got. So 200 each. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I was going to say, I was pretty sure we got 50 there, 50 there, and then 100 there. So, yeah, we got $200 basically from people uh, each. And the tablet took up, uh, plus some groceries. Took up most of it. But I'm not too worried because now Tammy can draw and have fun. Though I think next time we buy a big thing it's going to be me getting a little tablet. I don't need as 
awesome as a tablet as her, but I do need a new tablet. Mostly because mine is uses the old charging cord. Mm, yeah. And that's what screws me up the most about using it. Because I go to use it, and I'm like, oh, I have to charge it. I'm like, where's that little nub? Okay, well, I'll just use uh, one yeah. of the old cords. Oh, right, my old cord only reaches, you know, three feet. Yeah, I was going to say, the only other cord that's available is one of the ones that can charge the... When we used to charge our gaming controllers. Yeah. And that's in the living room. Yeah, and those don't work too well for it. No. It works really well for charging my battery packs, which are now equivalently useless. Oh? They don't... Unless it's unless I want to wait like 10 hours to charge our phones. Oh, okay. Well, no, the, the one that isn't bad. It, the it newest one isn't bad. The old ones suck, yes. I'll give you that. I was going to say, ones... it also depends on the cord. Possibly. Could be. I don't... I was pretty sure that the new one isn't bad. I have to find it. <laughs> Again. But. Yeah. No, I also noticed that, like, my phone lasts a lot longer. Yeah. I had to charge my phone over four days. I only had to charge it twice. Yeah, I have to charge my phone every two days. Instead of every day. Yeah. So, at least now that's a thing. Mm -hmm. And this tablet, because I haven't really had a chance to fully, quote unquote, abuse it. AKA use it. It's at thirty-six uh, percent. What have you charged it yet? Nope. Okay, so that the factory's thirty-six percent. Yeah, it started at fifty. That's not bad. But I haven't had a really chance to use it, so. No, no, you're right. But it should be probably about the exact same. Yep. But that'll be really nice. Mm-hmm. And then Tammy's phone started doing something weird, and we had to go to, like, uh, the place that we bought our phones, and we are like, um, yeah, Tammy's phone's broken, and as we're going in there and showing them, she's trying to show them what's wrong with it, and it works. She's like, for frick's sakes. Yeah. There was, it seemed like there was, like, a dead spot where the stylus wouldn't work, and the stylus is meant for the phone. Like, it came, it came with it. So I was like, okay, like, this is effed up. I need to figure this out. So, I did a little example where I would I used my finger because the thing uh, using my finger wouldn't affect where the like it it wouldn't find the dead spots. So I was like, okay, so I did it all in black, and then I took the stylus out and I took red because it was going to contrast really well, and I scribbled as hard as I could to show where the dead spot was, and it was about the size of the tip of your thumb, like as if you. So I was like, okay. There it is. Like, so angry. And then, yeah, we go into the store. I show them, and they're like, yeah, it must have been a software problem. Because it worked. And I'm like, I was so angry at myself because I didn't try it the earlier in the day. Because then if I would have done that, then we wouldn't have had to go and see them, and I wouldn't have had to look like a fool. So, yeah, but it kind of helped us anyway. Yeah. Because then you got your little nub. Yeah. Because I needed a... Because the phones that we have don't have an audio jack. Um, so I can't have headphones in it. So I had to get an adapter piece, a nub. Um, which was a male C type to a auxiliary, auxiliary female type cord. Which is like maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. And I had to get one of those. So I could listen to music using headphones, like wired headphones, because, well, I don't like having to charge headphones. Seems weird. And well, then, I was going to buy you a pair, actually. I was going to buy you a pair of... Uh, wireless ones? Yeah. Well, earbuds. Um, they were like 100 bucks at Costco. Mm. And they were on sale. And I was like, mm. ah, do I want to? Do I not want to? I'm like... No, 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 no. Just no. Because the concept that, you know, they are that expensive. And I just don't want to pay for them right now. Plus, we spent, what, 16 bucks and you got what you needed? Yeah. Which was the adapter piece. And, yeah. I can listen to music in my 
vehicle now. We have uh, a core, auxiliary core, going from her uh, vehicle Gosh. yeah, to the phone. But again, it was a male auxiliary to male auxiliary cord. Yeah. And I didn't have the audio jack bit in my phone, so I had to use the adapter piece. And the Which, first yeah. adapter piece we had was garbage. And, like, we had to listen to... I normally listen to my music at about anywhere from about 8 to 14, depending on how how many people are in the vehicle. <laughs> the song, how many people are in the video, a video vehicle, how much you want to listen to the song louder. Yeah. If you're so, talking to people, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, okay, you know, 12 is a good bass line that kind of thing so we had it at 12 and we're like is there music even playing like the f so we ended up having to crank it to like because tammy has a couple songs that are actually really quiet it's like when you're playing every other song at 12 this one needs to be at an 18 to 20 sometimes depending on the song. so so yeah i was like okay no whatever so um rob checked the song and it was a, one of my louder songs, so it, we should have heard it. Well, at so first then, I wasn't sure, because the first song I picked up, I wasn't sure. So I moved it to another one. It was a quiet song, so I moved it to another one. It was another one that I wasn't sure, and then I moved it to a third one. Or a fourth one, sorry. And that one I was like, no, this one's definitely... Yeah. So we ended up having to crank it to a minimum of 22 in order to actually hear it decently. So we're just like, screw it. And I think what the problem was, was the first one, that the first adapter piece that we got was made by Apple. Yeah. So that sucked. Yeah. So when we went in and got the second set of adapters, uh, those were actually made by Google. So they were actually made for Android phones instead of an Apple trying to be, an Apple product being used by an Android phone. So there was not as much... Uh, communication errors, I guess. Like, it was easier for the two devices to communicate properly. So, yeah, now I can now listen to music in my vehicle with very minimal uh, having to crank it as high as, you know, 22 plus. I can listen to it at 12 and it's fine. Saves my poor vehicle speakers. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, so there's that. So, yeah, then after we checked it, and it was, the new one was working, Tammy's like, that's pretty cool. I'm like, go get another one. She's like, looks at me. I look at her, and she goes, okay. <laughs> Went back in, confused the poor cashier. I put the same item down, same cashier, <laughs> pulled out my debit card, and she was like, oh, is there something wrong? No, I just, it works. So I need a second one. Oh, okay. Because one's going to stay in her Jeep. And the other one's going to be on her person. That way, when she's going down to... Um, I have to walk anywhere. Yeah, going down to anywhere with her. Or in, when you're watching it in the back at lunch. Yeah. Those kittens. Uh, right now, our three cats are on the little couch that we have in the computer room. They just sprawled out. Oh, uh, you know, Pumpkin is sprawled out like he normally is. And Koshka was in her little ball, like a normal cat sleeps. And then she starts sprawling out and, you know, touched into Nico, who is, oddly enough, actually sleeping or sitting near them, but not really with them. She's in her loath position. Feet tucked under. Yeah. Literally looks like she came out of the oven. She just... So then, you know, Koshka did that and we're just like watching to see if Nico's okay with it because Nico is wishy-washy about it. She's very... It seems to me like she's kind of bipolar. She'll be fine with things. She'll be fine with things. Then all of a sudden she just snaps. And then she's fine again. So... Yeah, she seems to be okay most of the time with Koshka. Pumpkin, not a chance. <laughs> See, the thing is that recently I've seen her do the reverse. 
And I've only seen her be nice to Koshka. They but uh like earlier, Koshka was sitting in my little Yep. Leg nook. Sure. And then uh Nika was on the other side of my leg and then Koshka put her chin out mm-hmm. and kinda like used Nico's side belly as a pillow. And she was just kinda like glared at her but didn't do anything. Well, I also told Nico so. to calm down, so yeah, and Nico I mean, actually does understand a lot of uh, words I use. But no, um, the other day I was sitting here and Nico was just sitting next to me and Koshka jumped up on the couch and Nico just laid into her like if she was freaking trying to steal her, you know, children. Stop. And Nico then, flinch. and then Koshka, or not Koshka, uh, Pumpkin had come by at one point. And Nico just looked at him, went, yeah, whatever. Like, walked past him and stuff like that. Yeah. But. I don't know. It depends, like you said. It could be just that she has some sort of disorder or something that. Yeah. But. Yeah. Well, that would be one of the things. It's like, you don't, you know, like, we have those kind of things. Why can't, uh, you know, animals have certain things that we have, like seizures, and diabetes. And... Well, they can. I know they can. That's what I mean. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, animals can have those things. So, why couldn't they have mental disorders as well? You know, it's kind of sad. But I've always kind of thought of the concept that Nico does have some kind of weird bipolarism. That's very possible. Because she does have, like, weird mood swings. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, we'll be, like, she, for some reason, she'll sit on our toilet. And if you bring a towel near her, about 50% of the time, she will attack you. The other 50 times. towel. You. For bringing it close to her. Like, like, because, you know, you'll get out of a shower and you're, like, drying yourself off. And if you bring the towel too close to her, she'll swat at your hand. For no reason. And other times, she sits there and just ignores it. So, we... Yeah. It's a little annoying. Because most of the time, it's me. There have been a couple times it's me. But, yeah, no. It's usually you. Because uh, when Nico was younger, um, her and Static... Uh, I asserted my dominance with them at one point. Where I just laid them on their uh, backs and put my mouth gently on their necks. Like, their throats area. Didn't actually do anything to hurt them. Just asserted that dominance. Um, from there on, they basically, like, would never fuck with me. They were always like, oh, it's you. Hi, you. <laughs> but Tammy, they would, like, mess with them. Tammy's like, what the fuck? I'm like, you have to do this. She's like, no, I'm not putting it right there. I'm not getting cat hair in my mouth. I'm like, okay. Your choice. Static wasn't bad. No, Static eventually realized that you were her, like, caretaker. And she was just like, I she will love you forever. She was my baby. And then now you have Pumpkin. Who's like, I will love you forever. Pretty much. They both were being overly affectionate this morning when I was trying to go to the bathroom. It's really weird. We can already start seeing their personalities. You know, we've had them for a couple months. But we're starting to see their unique personalities. Like, Koshka loves to cuddle... In your nooks. Yeah. Basically the concept of like, you know, between your legs in general. Or like oddly on my knee. The hot spots. But she doesn't want to actually cuddle cuddle. If you actually hold her, she's just like squirm, 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 squirm. Let go of me. She has to be there on her own terms. Pumpkin, you can hold him (coughs) and flop him and turn him into a boob. A little Chuck pretzel, yeah. And... and he's just like, ah. But on the flip side of that, Pumpkin also is the more uh, aggressive in love. He will wake your ass up at three in the morning because he wants love. And he will smush his face into your face and then drag his face along your face and then like drool all over you because he loves you. Yeah. It's like, cool dude, that's my face. Or Koshka rarely sleeps with us. 
the other day she managed I was sleeping on my stomach as I do propped up as I do and yeah supposedly they were both sleeping on my back and I'm like thinking to myself wow maybe that's why I have back problems <laughs> got some kittens on me not that they're heavy it's just joking around yeah no they were both definitely sleeping on you cuz <coughs> well yeah I'm a furnace I um was sleeping and Nico uh, I sleep with a body pillow, um, and it was laying down, and my knee was on top of it, and the little alcove it makes, Nico likes sleeping in that spot. So Nico starts sleeping there, everything was golden, and the other kittens realize that if Nico's there, they'll just leave her, you know, that to there. So Pumpkin usually sleeps at my feet now, and Koshka for the longest time, would sleep in the computer room where we are now. She would just make her way in here and sleep in here. But, because we were, you know, not at home for a day or two, at one point, she got really, uh, I don't know that word, I'm looking, like, basically she really wanted our attention. So she was really trying to make an effort to hang out with us. So when they went to sleep, she actually was sleeping too with us. But I hear Nico purring. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Nico's purring. Everything's great. And then I kind of hear Nico die down in her purse. I'm like, that's fine. You know, she's going to sleep. Usually happens. But I can still hear purring from behind me. I'm like, what the fuck? And I go and reach my hand over to go reach for the purring. And I realize it's Pumpkin. I'm like, oh, crap. I've, I've disturbed Pumpkin. He's going to come try cuddling. And he comes and starts cuddling. He's trying to get cuddles. And he's trying to get cuddles. But I can still hear the purring. So I turn on the light. And there's just Koshka. Laying on top of Tammy. Just purring away. Pumpkin was with her. Purring too. And they were both sitting on you purring. It's because I'm a furnace. When I sleep. So. It was interesting. I'm trying to actually see what our time is here. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. It's about 27 and a half. So, um, one other thing I will bring up. <clears throat> this is the last thing. And then we'll end the podcast. It's a couple of weeks ago. Um, YouTube was like, hey, do this survey. It's a survey to see if, uh, how weak as YouTube can help creators more. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll do the survey. Why not? I can't remember all the questions the survey asked. It was like, you know, trying to make sure, like, you know, I was happy with the service, basically. <clears throat> but one of the questions was, like, how can YouTube make things better? I'm like, I don't know. Didn't take me until, like, a day or two later that I'm like, I should have wrote that. Which is primarily, like, it's trying to, like, talk about the fact of, like, it has a crater section. Like, where it gives you stats. And it's, like, the explaining studio. all these... St huh? The studio. Yeah. The analytics of it. And it's explaining all that stuff. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And But my problem always, always has been, is like, the stats can tell me everything that they can tell me. Which is like, how many people are watching, uh, what shows they're watching. Their screen time. Yeah, stuff like that. But nowhere in there does any of that tell me why. Like... like why did, you know, video A do better than video B? Why did video A7 do a lot worse than video A14? Like, there is no actual reason that I can actually discern on why these things happen. Also, like, as weird as it sounds, I kind of wish YouTube would do a thing where if you unsubscribe from a channel, it asks you... Why did you unsubscribe? Yeah. Well, that way, before you unsubscribe, yeah. tell us why. Yeah. That way it can be sent to the person. And, like, that person can get, like, a even a monthly uh, idea of why they're losing or, you know, at the very least, losing subscribers. Yeah. Like, because uh, for a while there, I had 48 subscribers. Yeah. And I know I had 48 because I was doing a bunch of things with uh, 
the holiday stuff, and I got 48. And it's like, whenever I bring up that I have a number, it feels like it goes down. Hmm. Like, if I don't bring up that I have a certain number, it doesn't go down. Weird. But when I bring up that I start having a number, I, I don't know if it's because I bring up, hey, I have 48 now, and then someone's like, not anymore, ha ha, I like removed it. Or if it's like, people are like, oh, I don't like what you're doing here. Just unsubscribing. Yeah. Like, I, not knowing. Yeah. And I've asked before, but I think the problem is that no one really watches, the, like, not a lot of people watch the podcast versus everything else. Yeah. So it's like, I can't get information that way. And, like, I've done little videos, but I don't think people watch those little videos either. I honestly think people just, like, watch the RimWorld they like and walk away. Which is fine. It's just, I really sometimes wish, like, I knew why people are unsubscribing. Like, are you unsubscribing because you don't like that I'm using this or doing this? Or is it just, like, you started watching and, like, now you're like, ah, you know, now I'm not really into these anymore. Or, yeah, if it, so that maybe having, like, a multiple choice and then an other, so, like, lost interest yeah. or uh, too vulgar or yeah, yeah, too just, violent. Yeah. Yeah, having something like that where I could just, like, you know, basically be like, yeah, this is why you lost that person. Okay, cool. Or, like, you know, maybe the person subscribed. Like, I know I also have, like, a stupid amount of people who watch my stuff that are, unsub like, not subscribed at all. They just, like, occasionally check out the stuff. Which I've done before with certain YouTubers. But if you watch more than a couple of videos, then you're like, I'll subscribe and then... Yeah. If they continue with the stuff they're doing, then cool. If not, then... Whatever. Well, what I could say is the fact that, like, you know, looking at it now, I, I, I've always now subscribe. If I start watching your stuff and actually start liking your stuff, I'll subscribe. Because the fact that if I don't do that, I'll, um, like... You'll forget their channel and... Well, it's like... It's like, it's like I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, now I get that looking at I'm like, whoa, if I'm really going to watch this stuff, I might as well just subscribe to it. Because, yeah, then I get notifications about it and shit like that. But. I think that's where we're going to end this here. So. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add that you can think of? No. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. I have to show you this. Anyway. Just kittens and tablets and holidays and... Oh, my. <laughs> so, until next time, I hoard. Enjoy the rest of 2020.